for 10 or 12 years and uh, I'm glad to say she won, right? It's, it's quite, a, quite a story. I, I gave her a, a bone marrow transplant at one point, uh, which helped her along, but uh, certainly my life has been touched in many ways by the cancer movement. I, uh, I lost my mother to cancer, uh, other family members. So it really is a, an, an interesting uh, movement. It's people saying enough is enough. Let's. I don't see it as money as much as resources, right? You've decided as communities to put your resources into cancer research. I'd like to pay attention to a couple of uh, uh, programs that we have here in Grand Forks. The Grand Forks Emergency Aid Program, community volunteers committed for many years to this position. The uh, Grand Forks uh, Business Oasis Hair Studio and Day Spa provides a free haircut to those donating their long tresses to the Look Good, Feel Good program. The program provides cancer patients with wigs. Owner Chris Ezering, a cancer survivor himself, will be on stage for the high noon head shave in this final year as volunteer leadership chair of the Grand Forks Relay for Life. Uh, so a great, great round of applause for Chris. So he'll be here uh, on high noon to do the shave. And uh, just again to remind you that this is a team effort. It's a community coming together to eradicate cancer. My, uh, my personal support out there for it is, is uh, that I feel that my contribution at this point in time might make a, a difference for some of the people around me. And I have a lot of friends at my age. The boomers are getting older and we're the big uh, consumers of health care. We're also susceptible to cancer, so stop smoking. Let's get out there and be as healthy as we can and not a drain on society. So I'd like to welcome you all again and applaud your, your uh, efforts here to bring our community together to fight cancer. Thank you very much. inspiring words today. Today we're here to celebrate, to remember, and to fight back. Today is your day to fundraise and to have fun. We've got many opportunities on the field here. The Border Bruins have brought in their jump stations, so they're just set up on the west corner there by the school. We also have one of the teams, the mountain bike team this year, and normally we, we don't see bikes entered because generally we're working in areas where there's grass or stadiums. This year the Break the Cycle group uh, have a demonstration obstacle course directly behind the stage. So for those of you who have brought your mountain bikes, they do have a track set out also around uh, the school here heading east after you take the obstacle course and you can go up the back lane over to 72nd and cut back down through the school here on the pavement. So you'll see the obstacles that team captain David Fisher has constructed. Today we have security on, on site and thank you to the volunteers for the security for the Grand Forks International and Bud Elcock, he organized uh, the group from the GFI, so thank you Bud for your support today. And to all the teams, enjoy your day, remember to drink lots of water, and with one final word I'd like to say, together we celebrate the lives of our family, friends, and co-workers who have battled cancer. We remember loved ones and their battle against cancer. We fight back against a disease that takes far too much. So your financial support will go a long way to keep the Canadian Cancer Society programs alive and well in our community. Thank you for the opportunity to make this day happened in Grand Forks. I'm the uh, team, I'm the coordinator for this year's 
I, I was team coordinator last year. Uh, this year's relay, my name is Cher Wires, and for those of you who know me at the Chamber of Commerce, I'm the Chamber of Commerce Manager, and I just got a new position on City Council. So if you have any questions, concerns, or bouquets, I love bouquets, uh, just see me anytime during the day. So go ahead and have a great time, and I'm passing everything over to Aaron Baker, our MC for the day. All right.